Hello, I'm Richard Winters, and all the great horsemen that I have been around, horsewomen included, they are very smooth in what they do, and they have procedures and a plan in what they do. So something as simple as saddling up your horse, let's talk about this, and I just share with you things that people have shared with me over the years. So I'm going to set this pad up on this horse, got a nice Weaver Synergy pad here, and let me show you what it looks like to set a saddle on a horse the way I saw it set on many, many years ago. I saw a gentleman hang this saddle on his hip, just like this, and step right up along the right-hand side of his horse. So he set that pad up, then he looked where he wanted that saddle to go. He took his right hand right up at the front skirt, his left hand is back on the cantle, and just like a golf swing, he set it up there. And that just looks so smooth to me and so nice. I want to set my saddle on my horse's back like I set my hat on my head, rather than how I would throw rocks in the back of a wagon. Again, great horsemen and horsewomen are smooth and deliberate in what they do. You might need to look at that again, and if you practice that a little bit, you'll find that it has a whole lot more to do with technique than it does strength, and then you can politely saddle your horse. Got my right hand on the skirt, my left hand on the cantel. I look where I want to go. I want to end up with my left hand right in the middle of my horse's back. The other great thing about saddling a horse on the right hand side is your cinches don't get wadded up underneath your saddle. And now I'm right here to let my cinches down, and especially if I'm saddling up a colt for the first time. I'm not having to make another pass on the other side of him. And then I want to show you one more thing that someone showed me when I was 12 years old about how to handle those latigos. Now back on the left hand side of my horse, look at how this latigo is done up. Last time I took this saddle off of this horse, once I had uncinched him, I reached halfway down this latigo and came up from behind into my rigging and put it just like that. Now it's flat. It's even, it's organized, there's no twists in it, and it's gonna be ready to go when I'm ready to cinch my horse up again. Now I just give it a pull, and now we're good. Now we can cinch up this horse. The final thing that I would leave with you today is you're saddling up your horse. Make your cinching up process a gradual two or three step process. Don't cut them in two right at the hitching rail. If that's just barely snug enough to where it won't fall underneath his belly when you lead him off, then you can lead that horse off, make it a second process, a third process, where we tighten up that cinch to politely cinch your horse up. You'll have a horse that's safer. You'll have a horse with a lot better attitude. It's these little things that make the big difference. Remember, great horsemen and horsewomen, they're organized and they're smooth. That's what I want to be. I'm Richard Winters. Thanks for watching.